I've done a lot of mods on a lot of different bikes over the years. Uh, especially on this custom 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto, which I did a full build series. I have a link in the description and comment section of the video. But I tell you, there are some mods that are really a waste of money, and there are some mods that are that are awesome for the money. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you five useful mods. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Make sure you're wearing the gear out there to stay safe. And I have some awesome gear if you want to get it. This is my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, airbag vest to help keep you safe, gauntlet gloves, winter jacket, all my gear. I include links in the description and the comment section of this video. I tell you guys, the first mod, which is very useful for what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Took a little bit of off-road action up in here today. Got to be careful of these leaves, though. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's right here, baby. The very first mod. One of the best game-changing mods that I ever did was doing the ECU flash tune on my former 2020 Yamaha MT-09 with that Dino Jet flash tuner, which you can get yourself for your own bike. I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. And man, did that make a difference. <laughs> This is the best mod you can do to a supermoto or a dual sport or whatever is to make the wheels tubeless. These supermoto wheels. These were originally these wheels, these 17 inch wheels, required tubes. But what I did is I made them tubeless and I did a video on how to make them tubeless. I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. Basically, all you do is you take uh, sealant and you put uh, sealant around the holes of the spokes and then you put this special 3M tape to go over it and it seals it and uh, I tell you guys I hardly ever have to put air in these tires I uh, highly recommend that mod uh, number two I have to say is awesome mod it's extremely useful and you get a lot of bang out of your buck for it is an aftermarket seat as you can see I have a seat concept seat on here that is awesome. The stock seat, which this was a dirt bike, by the way. This is a, a brand new 2019 YZ450 FX that I bought that I converted into a, a supermoto. And the stock seat on a dirt bike is like sitting on wood, man. Even for dirt bike riders, they put an aftermarket seat. But for sport bike riders, even that Yamaha MT-09 that I had, I put an aftermarket seat on there. And I tell you, it made a world of difference. And, uh, you know, a lot of people put aftermarket seats, and I'll tell you, it's probably what it's the best mod you can do to a bike because really what it comes down to is your comfort. You know what I'm saying? And, um, let me bust a wheelie up in here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, busting some wheelies up in here. Up in here. Yeah, I love busting me some wheelies. Or should I say wheelies? I know you guys clown on me why I say I say wheel willies and it should be wheelies. I say willies. Willies, baby. Yeah, baby. But number three is when I turn see I turn this turn signal on, guys. You guys always call me out for it, is that I always <laughs> I never cut it off. I never cut the turn, very rarely, like I make the mistake of not cutting the turn signal off. And I look like a fool out here with my turn signal going, you know what I'm saying? It's not safe either. To remedy that, which a great mod, is to do the self-canceling turn signals mod, which I was gonna do, but I never did it. But there's some motorcycles, a lot of, some motorcycles already have that feature in stock form. But you can get a kit 
um, which I'll include a link to in the description and comment section of the video if you want to get one that uh, you can put the kit on yourself so that way you don't have to be a fool like me and forget to cut the signals off it'll do it for you um, I say number four it's really good for those of you guys that have maybe some older an older motorcycle or even a newer motorcycle where you get vibration in your bars and you put your left hand to sleep that happened to me on my uh, CBR 250R um, but if your bike uh, has the ability to be able to change out the handlebars um, to these handlebars made by FAST F-A-A-S-T company they have bars that reduce vibration it has rubber in the mounting of the bars like in the bars and it, it will reduce the vibration to your hands and they also make pegs too that are, have like rubber inserts are in them that reduce vibration greatly um, that is a very useful mod even though uh, I really the only motorcycle I had that caused vibration in the bars that was kind of irritating and put my left hand to sleep was the CBR 250R I don't remember any other uh, bikes that I had even this bike believe it or not which a lot of dirt bikes tend to have vibration in the bars and pegs but this bike that has none I don't know what it is but it has no vibrations in the bars and very little in the pegs number five useful mod uh, that I have put on a couple of my bikes that's really awesome that's a great safety feature that'll help you out here on the streets help keep you from having a real effed up day is get the brake light when you put the uh, aftermarket uh, tail light uh, when you do your fender eliminator kit um, you can get one of course that has the integrated turn signals but make sure you get the tail light that has the strobe feature the modulating uh, light feature so when you hit the brake it'll flash the light a bunch of times rear brake nice okay, front brake I like how it modulates that's good for safety so cars see when you're stopping so it really stands out to the car in back of you that that you're stopping you know so they don't run up into your butt and set you up for a real effed up day you know there's a lot of different useful mods out there but these are just some that I kind of handpicked here that I think are really great um, if you have any mods that are really useful that you can think of leave them in the comment section below and let's talk about it um, I've done tons of mods if you want to see all the mods that I've, I've done on all the bikes I've had over the years and links to get the mods go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and uh, click on the, li uh, the list my mods and bikes and I have I, I have I've done videos on all of the bikes I've done and various mods and I do have a playlist that's a uh, modifications playlist you might want to go check out you don't want to spend too much money on a bike because when you go to sell it you're not going to get all the money out for those mods another useful mod that I that's not on my list but I'll tell you about is uh, what I did right here to my bike <laughs> I put my smartphone I basically just put uh, velcro here industrial strength velcro and uh, that's how I attach my phone to my bar pad on the bike here and that works out pretty good I also have a really great phone holder that I use on the sport bikes when I own a sport bike um, I, I have a link to that in the description and comment section of this video it's awesome absolutely amazing phone holder for your bike you might want to go check out um, like I said if you have any other uh, mods that you can think of that's really useful leave a comment below and let's talk about it but anyways guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all the motorcycle channel make sure to hit thumbs up and make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto but until next time i catch you guys later deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel bug out moto